Which hand is the coining, left or right? Cr oh. Well, did I surprise you? Sorry about that. Thanks for picking it up. Thank you, Silvester. Really. Oh, by the way, you've been passing on uh, for processing all the help requests we've gotten, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Don't worry about it. There was just something I had to tell him. Perfect timing, though. You two, you see... What sort of steaming secrets do you think the guys are keeping from us, Owie? Unknown, but I do detect some steam in their conversation. soon. Not for a while. I have to organize the scriptures, and then I'll work on deciphering those books. The fire doesn't know my true identity, so I'll be doing that part in secret. Anyway, rest well tonight, Reen. Take care now. Rosine's always up at the crack of dawn doing her chores, too. Does she ever sleep? I'm confirming this month's event schedule with Sister Rosine. The students have acclimated well, but some still have their issues. We'll give them as much support as we can. I'd actually like to quickly head on back to the bath before I forget. I'll go back to the church. I'll remember it. I couldn't possibly forget. It sure does need to load, doesn't it? Bath time. It's the bath. I've got some time now, so maybe I'll wash up a bit. Ah, there's nothing like a bath to re rejuvenate you. I don't really run into many of our students here, though I suppose there just aren't that many in the first place. I wouldn't mind being able to have a real talk with some of them. Oh. Oh, hey Kurt. Hope it's alright that I'm here. Instructor Reen, should I come back another time? <laughs> no, it's fine. Come on in. Very well, I shall do just that. I see. Master Yoon could fly. I had heard the name from my father, but I didn't realize he was your master. Yeah, he's also known as the Sword Hermit. He found the Eight Leaves One Blade School and has trained quite a few swordsmen. But you wouldn't know it from how friendly and joyful he is. His favorite thing to do is drinking in the hot springs after training. I see. He sounds like the opposite of my father. I suppose one might say the way of the sword has many paths. I think you could go as far as to say each individual swordsman has their own unique path. I'm sure your father, your uncle, and your brother each have their own paths, too. Indeed, though the three may seem similar at first glance, they are all quite different. Though they do all have similar physiques. Your physique suits you perfectly well. It's pretty close to mine, actually. It's a good body type for swordsmen that emphasize speed which is why you do well with dual blades. I understand that, but given the nature of the Vandra School of Swordsmanship... Uh, um, s sorry, I went back to that topic again. My apologies for making you listen to my complaints. I'm glad we were able to talk about swordsmanship. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to do it again whenever you like. Anyway, tomorrow's your free day, so don't wear yourself out training and be sure to get to bed early. Yes, understood. 
Hell yeah. Watch that. Go. I'll be resting for the day after I do some cooldown stretches. Thank you for today, Instructor. You're welcome, Kurt. Taking a bath with another man is weird. I bet you could tell that I was trying to hold back the laugh and yeah, come on in. Ugh. Goddess, please guide me with the light of salvation. Tatiana? What's she doing here so late? Um, Tatiana? <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. No, I'm sorry for losing my cool. It's okay to pray, but why are you here so late? Is something wrong? Um, well, I lost the latest issue of... You lost a book? It's more like, I think someone took it by mistake. There was another book in its stead. Ah, uh, I see. Say, Tatiana, do you want me to help you look for the owner? Uh, are you sure? I'd really appreciate it. I can't not help one of my students in need. But come to think of it, how do you mistake one book for another? What happened exactly? When you look at the book, I think you'll understand. I see, so the store put that book cover on the book. And they put the same cover on your book, huh? Yes, exactly. In the evening, I want to recite. I think the mistake happened while I was cleaning up my table. I said we whatever. Had I noticed then and there, it would have been fine, but I only noticed after I got back to the dorms. Have you gone back to whatever yet? Yes. I asked the owner if there were any books in the lost and found, but that probably means the person who took your book hasn't noticed yet. Was that the only person you asked? Um, well, I'm really shy and it's very hard for me to talk to people. The owner was a woman, so that made it a little easier. But I have a hard time talking to strangers. Hmm, I see. Well, I guess I have a better understanding of the situation. Tatiana, may I take that book from you? Y yes The title of the book is Take Me to the Field. The first course of action is to go through the owner. Tatiana, can you wait here? Okay. I'm sorry, what did you just say? What did that just say? Hold on. What kind of memes are you playing here? Branch Campus Quests. Book... Oh... Is it supposed to be Book Blunder? Is that what it's supposed to be? I don't understand. Hmm. We gotta get this book turned in. Back to the bakery. Welcome, will you be eating here tonight? I want to ask you something. Do you happen to know who this book may belong to? I see. In that case, I'm guessing it's Mr. Kane the farmer. He was resting here after he delivered some vegetables. He was telling me about an interesting book he just bought. It's a romance novel perfect for a farmer like me. The title of the book was Take Me to the Field. <laughs> I guess there's no doubt. At this time of day, he usually is drinking at the tavern. Sorry for the trouble, but if you could uh, take it to him, I'd really appreciate it. Sure, no problem. Did you say her name is Tatiana? I'm doing my best to make the students at Thor's feel at home, but apparently I haven't been doing a good job. No, it's more of her own personal issue. But I'll let her know that you said that. <laughs> Thank you. I should head to the tavern to look for Mr. Kane. <laughs> I guess I'll have to hold off on dinner for a while. Oh, do you need something from me? Yeah, I was wondering if you know anything about this book. This is... Take me to the field. I bought this yesterday. That must mean...
Green Breeze Love Song. What is this? It's a romance novel, but with barely any female characters. I never confirmed with Tatiana, but this is her book, right? Um, so can I explain the situation? I'm sorry about the mix-up. Oh no, it's... Would you accept my vegetables as a form of apology? And I'm sorry to you too, Instructor. <laughs> thank you. Th thank you. Thank goodness he turned out to be nice. My father always told me never trust strangers. He always said that men are beasts and demons. That sounds a little extreme. You didn't take him seriously, did you? I do find that I'm taking him with a grain of salt. But until I came to the school, I lived a rather sheltered life. Ah, yes, you were raised in a noble house. True, but it's only a small house in the Croydon countryside. <laughs> you could practically say the same for me. I'm surprised your father sent you here by yourself. Oh, <laughs> well, it was rather hard to convince him at first, but when I told him that I wanted to see the world, he accepted it. I see. Your dad seems very nice. Yes, I am grateful for all he has done for me, which is also why I believe that I need to change. I see. I'm happy to see that you're really taking everything into consideration. Let me just say that you simply need to relax a little and take it slowly. Instructor Reen. Th thank you so much! <laughs> you're welcome. The book you brought, Spring Breeze of Love, it's a romance novel, right? Y yes. It's the second book by the... Dorothy? Is something wrong? N no, it's nothing. She was part of the literature club with Emma. She debuted as a novelist, but I didn't think I'd hear her name here. I heard her first book was rather unique as well. I should be happy that she's doing well. Oh boy, yeah, I don't want to even know about that book. I ain't in for the gay. Oh, hey, Gina. Phew, there was so much cleaning to do today. Hey, Daisy, are you going to clean up that table? Didn't I tell you to clean them up as soon as a customer leaves? Jeez. <laughs> My bad. Can you help, Gina? Ugh, you're so spoiled. Things are so much easier when Gina's home. If only she didn't nag me so much. Well, I certainly am hungry. I still want to walk around tonight. What are you talking about? Did I forget something? I couldn't have forgotten something. Sorry about gulps you're hearing. I know for a fact I talked to everybody, so... I don't know what you're on about, Reen, but we're eating dinner. I definitely didn't miss no one. Oh, Instructor Reen, it's rare to see you at this time of night. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Are you still open? Yes, of course. Please have a seat. Oh, you're here too, huh? Why, hello there, Randy. Welcome. Randolph, were you at the campus this whole time? Yeah, I had to take care of something. You not have dinner yet? Not yet. I was cleaning up and lost track of time. He's a little different, but he does remind me of him. Hey, Schwarzer, you're old enough now, right? Wanna have a drink with me? Uh-huh. Uh, 
Oh, so you're training in the keep. Yeah, I figured as long as Shirley and Ouroboros are prancing around, I better shake the rust off the old combat instincts. Um, you were part of the Red Constellation, right? I heard the story from someone in Zephyr. Yep, our groups were the two top dogs in the Jaeger world. Sylphied, last I saw her, she was still just a little girl. <laughs> she was part of your old Class 7, right? I was surprised by how much smaller and younger than me she was when I first saw her. I didn't realize you two had met before. So eventually you ended up leaving the Jaeger Corps and joining the Crossbow Guardian Force. And after that, you joined the special support section, right? Yeah, that's right. Besides our leader, none of us were actual police or investigators, though. Just a motley bunch of misfits. But we got along well and made a really good team. Living together, we were almost like family. I see. Hey, no need to make that face. Though the SSS is split up now, we're still connected. Uh, in our hearts, I mean. <laughs> I understand how you feel. Did he happen to mention me at all? He didn't say who, but he told me someone got him good. Someone dignified and honorable. Yet sad. I see. Guess he's not a detective for nothing. Um, sorry. Hey, Schwarzer. When I talked with you after school, you seemed shocked for some reason. I got the impression you mistook me for someone else. Something about the way you talk kind of reminded me of him. One of my classmates from Class 7. He was a good friend, a fierce rival, and an awful role model. Though, when it comes to being a sar sarcastic slacker, he certainly had you beat. You make it sound like I'm one of those too, but I get it now. Schwarzer, I know this might seem like it's out of the blue, but... Would it be all right if I called you Reen? Huh? And you can call me Randy. Everyone back in Crossbell calls me that. Oh. <laughs> I think I might have unintentionally built up a wall between us. But as long as we both work here at this school, we're comrades. I'm sure my friends would let that much slide. Randolph. I think I've built up a wall too. I'm looking forward to working with you, Randy. Me too, Reen. All right, then. You can drink more, yeah? The party's just getting started. Surely, but I'm still a lightweight when it comes to drinking. I should probably stop here. No, he said sorry, not surely. Phew, those were some good drinks. Let's do this again sometime. Maybe after our next payday, eh? Yeah, sure thing. Reen, you're fucking drunk. Reen's drunk, I can see it. Ugh, that was pretty tough. I never drank alcohol back when I was a student, but... You know there was interest on this, right? How much do you suppose you really owe me after half a year? Oh, man. What kind of racket are you running here anyway? I thought you were supposed to be a good kid. Well, there's this one second year who's taught me a thing or two about making money. To be honest, it feels kind of lonely to think that everything between us is completely settled and done with. <sighs> I swear, the things I do for love. All right, all right. You'll get your stupid interest someday. Maybe. I wish I could have drank with him just once. But I'm sure if he heard me say that, he'd just call me spoiled. Those days sure were fun. I couldn't drink with Elliot the other day. But once Class 7 is all together again. Oh. Hey there, Reen. Haven't seen you since February. 
Machias. I know it's a little late, but are you good to talk now? You look like you've been out drinking. Maybe a bit too much. Yeah, you caught me. I just got back. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. We are bold enough now, after all. I've gone drinking with some people from work myself. In fact, let's go out together next time we meet up. With the others, too, of course. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I'm guessing you're pretty busy with your work at the... Uh... Ins... Uh, inspect? Whatever. Oh, it's certainly challenging. I've no doubt your job is the same. Like I thought, this job has shown me the seedy underbelly of the government. Half the time, it's very fulfilling work. The other half? My hands are tied and I'm completely powerless. That sounds pretty serious. <laughs> well, it's the same for you, right? Ellie had told me about your trip to Sutherland the other day. Movement from Ouroboros, government schemes. It seems things are getting pretty fishy over there. Yeah, I guess by this point I'm just used to all that stuff. We'll be waiting for our field exercises next week, so hopefully I can figure out more then. <laughs> well, about that, I may actually have a business trip that takes me out there with you. Seriously? How do you know? I haven't even heard the location yet. I got the info secondhand, so I can't completely vouch for it. But if it does turn out to be true... Machias, you coming? If you're here, come out with us! Let's go already! Reiner! Hold on, just a minute! Monkey oh, yes! Come on, we're gonna leave without you! Sorry, I'll call you back later. <laughs> no problem. They'll tell us where our field exercises are being held tomorrow, so we can talk to them. Got it. Good night, Reen. I'm starting to sober up a little. Maybe I'll go take a quick shower before bed. Tomorrow's looking like a busy day with the briefing and all. Like I said, I do like voicing our characters, our main characters. I really don't like it when I mess up the words, though. Like, when I specifically can voice Reen and everyone else is talking, I try and focus on the word I'm getting there. Here are today's requests. I've taken the liberty to summarize everything both the town school would like you to do. Thanks, Elston, and sorry for making you put all that together. Oh, no trouble at all. Besides, it was at the principal's behest anyway. From now on, I shall provide such a was for you every free day. If you require anything of me, please feel free to ask. I will, thanks. There are no hidden quests tonight. Or, well, today. So, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we've got. Looks like two requests from town and one from Professor Schmidt. I'll need everyone from Class 7 to join him for the keep trial. Uh, it may take a while, so I'd better save it for last. Alrighty, no hangovers for me. Time to get this day started. If Reen had just one hangover... <laughs> if Reen had one hangover... Like, all of the old Class 7 members would be like, You're not turning into Instructor Sarah, are you? Anyway, who is sending me mail? Trigger a bonding event. Or mail from Laura and... William. Huh. Wait a minute. Oh. Hmm. So then I have... Wait a minute. 
if I do this... Uh, wait, okay, if I do this, will it take a bonding point? I think it will. Oh, it definitely will. What, um... If I can hazard a guess... I can always try and hazard one. Okay, seems we're gonna do something with Yuna and a child, if I do hers. I'm sure Ash is gonna get himself in trouble. And Altina is at the... is over here. She wants to go out for something. Hmm. Okay. I might end up doing the thing with Yuna. Uh, so we need to go around and talk with people again, as usual. And I'm sure, well, I, I want to check this shop, but I'm sure this, it has not updated. Unless it has. I know that uh, for Trails of Cold Steel 3, there is like one bunch of bonding events that I do want to voice with getting like Winston's help. Uh, I'll tell you guys now that I want Winston to voice for Ash during the bonding events when I get all those done, but that's going to be a long time from now. Because I think Winston can, you know, do well for voicing Ash. Though he may not want to be the persistent, sound like a persistent douchebag. Or to be pessimistic. I don't know. But he said he'd do it. He just finds it funny to voice a blonde dude. Oh, good morning, Instructor Reen. <laughs> Did you perhaps come to make your move while I'm still nice and drowsy? Alright, alright, it's not even that early in the first place. Are you not heading out? Yet. I have a club meeting soon, but I need to get ready first. On free days like this, I'd rather take things nice and slowly. <laughs> yeah, I can't blame you. She just has her rifle suit. I thought that thing had purple on it. I thought, from a certain angle, I thought it was a boat. What's this? Just got a drill? And a lot of paint cans and stuff in the ZCN. Well, actually, I forgot this is a shared room. This is music stuff. Hmm. Yawn. Oh, Instructor Reen. Good morning. <laughs> Looks like you were sleeping till now. Yes, I decided to sleep in today. Since it's our free day, we don't need to worry about being late. <laughs> I see. I guess that's not a bad idea. Hey, come on. Going around, talking with people. Ah, just what I was looking for. Thanks for all the help. Certainly, I'm glad I could find what you needed. Picking up some books. Are they for class? Oh, hey there, Reen. Yeah, but I figured I'd mix up a little... I'd mix a little pleasure in with my business. <laughs> Wait a second, is that... Hot shot. Uh, swimsuit m uh, magazine published in Crossbell. Is that really something you should be ordering alongside school materials? <laughs> it's just killing two birds with one stone, far as I'm concerned. If you're interested, I can loan it to you sometime. I'm good, thanks. Do you have one of those on sale? <laughs> Mr. Randy's one of the regulars here. Let me know if you want to make any special orders for you. Man. Could I ever go into his room? Because why do I... Hold on. I want to go in the dorm and see if his room is open. Because I wonder if he's got anything in there. Not this door. Wait, whose room did I step into? Toa. His room is over here. Right 
Whoa. I heard that you'll be on a... Okay, yeah, that wasn't... I couldn't, I couldn't smooth transition my way into that. <laughs> I've heard that you'll be on another field exercise this weekend. May I ask how you're feeling? Sure. That's right, she does know about my powers. I'm doing fine, thank you. I haven't used it since last month. I see, I'm glad to hear that. Father Thomas told me that power is something to be wary of. So please, don't tempt fate by pushing yourself to a point you can't come back from. The children of Levi's are so energetic. Actually, Armin has uh, asthma, but thanks to his medicine, he's been able to run around without any problem. Let's pray to the goddess those smiles and everything.